And my dad bought Leo Bradshaw in 1949 or 1950. And my dad had a quirky uh, uh, drive issue in his life, and that was parking. The people down on South Tacoma, which were the people that really, that was the shopping district who had the old, where the building is right on the street and you had two car parking right in front, thought he was crazy for having, buying perfectly good land and then cover it for parking. You know, you don't need any more than two cars in front of your store. And so years later, he had the largest parking lot in Pierce County. And that's when a circus came to town and the circus was looking for the largest parking lot. And so they asked my father to, if we could use, they could use uh, our parking lot. And he said, yeah. And that's what changed the entire direction of the store was his craving for parking actually was the catalyst to change everything about it. You have to understand the time when in 1946, we didn't even have televisions here. You know, they hadn't even hit the market. So the, the people stayed to themselves. They went to church. They uh, had a, a simpler way of life, uh, which was one of the things that made the BNI successful is that they were starving for any form of entertainment. Uh, when my dad came in and he started doing some of the things he did, uh, people would flock from all over to come here because there really wasn't any other option. You know, the TVs in the 50s had just started to hit the market, so you know they were looking for things to do. I had been there all my life. Every edition I was there watching or helping with the additions of the store. We added on probably a dozen different times to that store and ended up about 200,000 square feet. Well, we geared everything for the kids. Uh, we had popcorn, so thousands of popcorns. Every weekend we'd have a, a clown. Uh, Saturday and Sunday we'd have a clown and giving balloons away and uh, and doing magic acts, and there was always something. There was always that, that air of excitement in there, and so you go in there, and you're always going to see something new. And they see lions, or porpoises, or lions, and lions and tigers and bears. So it was uh, it was a fun place to grow up. Dad spent all of his time there and my brother and I didn't get to see him much and so if you went to the store you would see my father and that was that was home. We had uh, a lot of local celebrities, Stan Borson and uh, and um, God I can't remember the all the different ones we had local and then we had Cisco Kid which was the first time uh, anybody from Hollywood had ever done a shopping center outside of Hollywood. You know, they always did things in that area, but never went to a shopping center like Cisco Kid did. And there were people from all over, counties came from there, all different counties. They'd come to that thing. It was just amazing how many people came to that to see Cisco Kid. And when we had Batman, and yeah, not Batman, himself, but um, his sidekick, Bert 
Same thing, there was like 20,000 people came out to see him. And it was a place where you could go and you could lose yourself in the store with all of the animals and all of the decorations that were there and the circus atmosphere. Um, I think that was very important to uh, Tacoma.